Thanks, Mr. Wiener. Uh, welcome, first of all. Uh, we have some questions for you. And uh, to a fresh new eye, uh, your art seems, among other things, uh, more direct, more urgent, more communicative than others. Uh, do you always uh, think about how your art can reach people? Uh, I can't think of any reason for making art except for other people. Mm -hmm. uh, when you begin to make art, and it doesn't matter if you're making a painting, oh, there are accidents, there are this, but essentially you do everything you do because you're trying to put a form of logic to other people. Yes, I do think about it. It's the reason, that's the point of the operation. Mm. Otherwise, I know what it looks like. I don't have to do it. Um, McLuhan, <coughs> uh, McLuhan wrote, uh, in this case, talking about uh, communication media, that the medium is the message. And your main current medium is the language itself, uh, words, as carriers uh, of the original idea. Uh, but it's only part of the whole work. Uh, yeah. you, do, so you use several other media, uh, like video, for example. How do you balance uh, the different elements taking part of the work of art? I'm really not sure I understand the question. Mm -hmm. uh, for one thing, the material of my work is the thing itself. Language is just a form of presenting it. But don't forget that a painting a gesture, are all language. Mm -hmm. Music, it's all language. So there's no need to balance it. Uh, what there is a need is, is to acquire some form of skill with the medium that you're using. Some form, not necessarily to accept the structure as it's presented, but to understand what the structure is in order to be able to deal with it. And art uh, is the most precious of the useless things, <laughs> one of the possible ironic definitions of art. And we know also that mostly useless things are moving passions and intelligence and then knowledge. And in your opinion, which is the function or the mission of the intention of art, and in particular your art, I, I really resent the, the term that art is useless. Uh, shitty art is useless. Uh, but shitty cooking is useless, but you can get some value, food value. What happens, well, I'll repeat myself because it's something that I realized a long time ago. Art is a logic structure. It's something that's presented in the world. And it doesn't have a place at the moment. And it moves around trying to find a place. It, it tries to get into an exhibition. It tries to be on the street. Wherever it goes, because it wasn't designed for that space, it bangs, it knocks. Well, art then fucks up the society a little bit. It moves it around. And then eventually, that structure enters in, or the outside structure adapts to accommodate it. They build the airfield bigger. They build a museum to fit it. It fits it, and then it becomes art history. That's not useless. It's two different things. It was uh, provocative. <laughs> uh, art is more and more ubiquitous. Uh, it is conquering time by time, new spaces, and your work is clearly part of this conquest. And considering the contemporary Seen, how do we imagine further development in arts? Uh, if I knew, I wouldn't have to go to work every morning, would I? <laughs> I have no idea. And uh, art is essentially a dialogue. The reason that I like group exhibitions is that you can't see everything all the time and you get to have your work talk with things that you hadn't noticed. And Maybe they're right, and you just incorporate it into your life. I can't tell you what art is going, because I have no... I don't want to build a structure that adapts to me. 
I want to change the structure as it is, because I don't think it works. I'm convinced that, or I am not satisfied with the configuration that's given to me. But as far as having a final goal, I don't. Uh, you have been always curious, I think, about the relation between author and the audience. And what did you learn about this special aspect and the relationship during your career? And, and what do you receive from your audience? Okay, what I learned is the, probably the most profound thing. The public is not stupid. And the interesting thing is, is that if you show what you do, and don't tell somebody what, how they are supposed to see it and how they are supposed to use it. A lot of people will say, okay, this isn't for me, I don't want it, I don't need it. But it's not because they don't understand it, it's because they don't need it. What do I receive from my public uh, interaction? Uh, when you're lucky, a support structure that allows you to buy that most, 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 most expensive and important thing in the world, time, to make more work and enter into the society. That's all you can do. Uh, there's a sort of a feeling of mine. You get laid by charm, but your work enters into society because it talks with you. And pointing out that art is directly linked to the source, they mean the artist and these ideas, uh, in the current period of this uh, digital reproduction, for example, and big debates about copyright, mm. um, is sometimes still revolutionary, talking that way. And what do you think about art and its reproduction uh, and some of the current artist, artistic techniques that are... Uh, using, for example, copy itself, mastering, remixing, reusing? I don't know. If you need something, there have been artists who have been able to do it, Rauschenberg did it, be able to use the uh, media of your times in order to present something that is exactly of your time rather than your times. Uh, it's a too long conversation about copyright and such. The majority of the problem is not other artists, it's the public. And the public is getting what they deserve. They're not getting any new music because the musicians can't survive. They have to perform. Remember, you'd never have a Brian Eno in today because Brian Eno didn't perform and he wouldn't be able to have the money to eat. Uh, artists are human beings. And the deal is, forget the art market for a moment. Uh, the whole deal is, is that there are people who have excess money that get something from art. It helps them to understand their world. It helps them to develop their thoughts in relation to the world. And they trade their little bit of excess money to an artist for the product. The artist, when they're smart, they buy time with it. They make more work. The work enters the culture. The culture keeps going and everybody gets something out of it. It's not a bad deal. The exploitation and all of that stuff that happens with everything. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, you have been living also a period like the 60s in, in a place like Amsterdam also or elsewhere mm. in which a lot of progressive ideas uh, were uh, going out, let's say. Uh, freedom of expression, social responsibilities, human rights. Uh, living now in an international context in which you live both continents, Western and then Europe and then elsewhere. Uh, do you see these elemental values uh, represented in contemporary art scene? Yes, I do, and I see an attempt on the part of many artists. But the, the funniest or strangest thing that ever happened is I come up through the, uh, an idea of human rights and human dignity but everything that we had hoped for from the 50s, 60s, 70s, up until the late 80s, people would have enough to eat, there would be education, there would be health, there would be dignity, there would be absolutely no problem between boys and girls, etc., 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 failed. I don't know why it failed. Maybe human beings really suck, but 
the one thing that did continue is there is no culture left in the entire world, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but there's no culture left in the entire world that doesn't have a form of an art center where whatever it looks like, whatever it means, people can feel that they have a sense of their own dignity as a culture. And it becomes a problem of like the, the native and dark Africa in the 40s who never saw a motion picture, but knew that Greta Garbo wanted to be alone. This is how it works. But the only thing that has worked since the 60s of all of our aspirations is the fact that it is opened up that human beings, all cultures, feel they have a sense of dignity from art. From Marseille, to Paris, to New York, to Torino. Okay, that's an answer to your question, that's all, but it didn't, the rest of it, I wish the hell it had worked, but it didn't work. And it doesn't look like it's going to. My last question is related to the fact that you quoted Brian Eno. I asked Brian Eno something that is uh, linked to the act of create. Mm -hmm. I asked him, you put some elements together, then you go outside and see how they work. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think you are God? <laughs> and, uh, well, it was funny, but it's still related. There is some relation to the act, the normal acting of the artist and the creation as a, to create. I don't know what you mean by the normal acting. If you mean this cult of personality that we have in the art world, the problem is, is that in order to, unless you are lucky and you come from a, a, a rich background, or you're lucky and you come from one of those strange countries that subsidizes all the artists because it's like a football team. Unless you have that, you have to make yourself into You have to get past that little rope to get into the club. Nobody will know how you dance until you get through the rope and get in the club. So everybody picking on artists who are a little bit flamboyant or a little this or a little that, it's, not, it's really not making sense. And if you remember Berliner Luft, uh, the, the, the film, uh, there is a difference after a day's work of somebody who went on a tightrope all day and somebody who worked in an office. They both did a decent thing, but they're different people. And maybe when you decide to make art, you find yourself in another world. You find yourself in a world where there is a danger that you go mad because you begin to contemplate things that just don't look like they can succeed. Thank you very much. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Was that it?